How's it going, guys? My name is Damien. Welcome to my review for episode two of The Vampire Diaries season six. Uh, this episode was not that great in my opinion, so you know, disclaimer before we get started. Uh, spoiler alert, of course. If you haven't if you haven't seen the episode yet, you might want to click off. I'll wait just a second before I uh, mention anything. You you can feel free to come back to the video after you've seen the episode if you'd like to. So to get right into it, this episode was not that great. Obviously. Uh, there was a lot that they had to do to kind of, I, I guess, set up for a lot of other plot lines coming up uh, down the line. But there was a lot of just pointless stuff that happened in this episode. Uh, the Enzo plot line, him going to Stefan, really made no sense. There was no reason to actually go there. It just, I can't, I just can't buy anything that he was doing. His unnecessary reason to kill Ivy. So there's a lot of stuff in the episode that I just didn't enjoy. A lot of filler. And they just filled out, you know, the 40 minutes with a lot of flashbacks and so on. There wasn't really... A lot of actual development. The actual filming of that episode just didn't require that much. So, uh, going down my top five, and then of course, well, my review score, I can tell you guys right now, was about a C. I give the episode a C. It just was not that impressive to me. I felt like the season premiere had a stronger approach as to where everyone was going to be going character-wise and development and so on of different characters. And, and then the storyline kind of was up in the air. This episode here, you can clearly see is what is classed as a filler episode. A lot of shows do it, so this is not really surprising that The Vampire Diaries has chosen to do it. I just did not enjoy the episode. Spending 10 minutes having Elena flashback to a bunch of Damon and Elena scenes just to sell the idea of Damon and Elena even more is not really what I call you know, productive time with your, your slot. You need to fill it up with more important things, things that are new and fresh to keep it interesting. That is how you write a successful TV show not by revisiting all of these old moments and having this... What I will always see is a biased uh, Damon and Elena approach. They just kind of push the Damon and Elena agenda a little bit harder. And Damon and Elena being endgame is not a problem to me at all, but it's the way they go about doing it. In this episode, you can basically see they were really trying to discredit a lot of what Stefan and Elena was. And... You know, it's kind of making Elena out to be just this good person and like everything that, you know, she went through with Stefan during season two and three was kind of just falling on him, even though Klaus had pretty much everything to do with that. And Stefan only left Mystic Falls to save Damon. And he, you know, again, I'll always come back to it. He pays Stefan back for saving his life by trying to make time with Elena and, and really just push that, you know, just be around her, kind of influence her her in many ways because it, it just wouldn't have happened otherwise. That's how I'll, I'll always see it. So, but it's fine if Damon Elena is endgame. I just think they could have done it, you know, a better way. So, you know, top five for this episode, honestly, it's really not that big a deal. I can't even really rank five great moments that happened in the episode because there was a lot of filler. So I can say that number five easily was uh, Damon or sorry, Elena forgetting Damon, forgetting that she loved Damon. I'll rank that number five. Number four, three, and two are really just filler. It's pretty much irrelevant. It doesn't really matter what I even say about it because it really didn't mean much. You know, that new fell guy who is the neighborhood watch, I could rank him on there. I could talk about something that he did, but he didn't really do much. He killed some vampires at the end. It didn't really mean too much as, to, as far as the core storyline is, is concerned. He obviously knows about the, the, the magical bubble. The, the magic free zone of Mystic Falls. He knows about it because he drove those vampires straight t towards Mystic Falls and they all, you know, I assume, died. So there's him. There's the Enzo storyline, which, which really, really annoyed me because, you know, Stefan was peacefully keeping to himself and not bothering anyone. So why exactly does Enzo go all the way out there to where Stefan is, interrupt everything, and kill Ivy? There was no reason to kill Ivy whatsoever. None. Uh, it's just... You know, there's really just no leads to bring Damon and Bonnie back. And Stefan is trying to accept it. That's all there is to it. I, I can't hold any... I can't hold fault to Stefan at all. Of course, I think he should have stayed in touch with Caroline. He didn't do that. That was definitely a dick move. So... And I can fault him on that, but he really just wanted to sever all ties. And this is something that I said Stefan should have done a long time ago. I wouldn't, me personally, I would not have been accepting to the fact that Damon and Elena were together and I would have been long gone. Of course, that can't happen on the show because then we wouldn't have a TV show, now would we? So, 
So it really doesn't matter where I rank all of these things that happened because they, again, just really didn't have much emotional weight. You know, I feel for Caroline, honestly, because I guess she doesn't really have anyone that close, but she does have other people that she can talk to. So, but I guess Elena was a mess because of the whole losing Damon thing. So she didn't really have Elena too much. And, and Stefan was kind of her go-to for talking and getting through a lot of things. So I can definitely, you know, see where she's coming from. And I, I think Stefan should have at least stayed in touch with her, but yeah, that's really it. Number two, if I had to pick a number two would be who that, that third person is on the other side with Damon and Bonnie as they, you know, filled out the crossword puzzle at the end when uh, Damon and Bonnie came, came to that realization that someone else had to have done it. And then, of course, we'll see who that is. We'll learn more about them. They'll have, you know, just random scenes with them, whoever they may be. And number one, my number one most or best moment for the entire episode was Damon and Bonnie, the Bayman scenes. Because, I mean, let's be realistic. That was really what made that episode bearable for a lot of people. So there was about almost 10 minutes of Bonnie and Damon scenes. I enjoyed them thoroughly. They were great from him cooking constantly to them just having conversations and just, you know, just something different. It's interesting that the character that Damon is when he's with Bonnie there, it's just very, very different. It's nice to see them together because it just gives a, a breath of fresh air. It's how I'll look at it. It's, you just it's not not the same like i don't even really want to see Stefan and elena together ever again I, it's 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 over i want it to stay done but i i will always be a Stefan and elena you know fan of season one one and two it was great but uh, as far as them you know getting back together and stuff i i've just moved past that like i'm not not really too interested in that and i like seeing bonnie and damon together it's just very very different i was actually starting to enjoy scenes that Stefan had with Ivy and I was going to post scenes for the two of them until she died and then I think I was just like it doesn't even matter I'm not even going to do this because it's pointless so Enzo definitely it was it was uncalled for should not have killed her made no sense but he just can't justify to me that he cares enough about Damon for me to buy it I'm just not I'm not feeling it so yeah those are my thoughts guys let me know what you guys think about it uh, Bonnie and Damon the highlight of the episode they were great together you guys uh enjoy this video do feel free to leave a like on the video always comment down below share your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions or you want to have any discussions or anything like that you can feel free to email me my email is in the description and if you're watching this video for the first time definitely subscribe i'll be doing a lot of or i generally do a lot of videos like this this will be a style of commentary that i keep going for the flash arrow the originals and the vampire diaries those are my four shows right now if you want to see clips of any of those shows, you can head on over to my TV show clip channel. The link will be in the description. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys next week. My name is Damien.